Hello Libra, this is your bonus reading for the end of October 2020 for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising. Five card spread with the Toth deck, okay? Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, hopefully positive energies, but whatever we get, we work through it, right? See what the income and energy is. As you know, it will not resonate with everyone, but you know, I do try to reach as many as possible because I'm asking what the main energy is that is coming in for the majority of Libras. Let's see what's going on. Like I said, this is a Toth deck, and I really like this deck, and I hope I said the name right, but they're very uh, accurate, almost scary accurate, as you, you know, sometimes hear. Seven of Swords. Someone may be trying to get by with something with you. With the Seven of Swords, someone may be having sneaky behavior. For a few of you, you may be having sneaky behavior. Could be that you caught someone straight out doing something, and now you're dealing with it. We'll see, okay? So that's the incoming energy. We'll see what else is going on. In the past, um, you may have resisted change or maybe you didn't like the changes that were occurring in your life. It also could be that you were trying to find work, trying to juggle work, um, finances, because that's what pentacles means. Changes, big changes in your life when overall stability. Let's see. The obstacle, the Empress in reverse. You feel like there's no growth and you're trying to um, overturn that. That's what you're trying to work towards. Uh, again, well, not again, but the Eight of Pentacles is the current environment. It's like there's not enough work maybe or for some people it's overwork. I will clarify. You know, when I clarify, it does change the story up or makes it much more interesting. But the Eight of Pentacles is there. So Libra, you're dealing with a work situation. What is coming towards you? Um, more desi de desirable things are coming towards you, the things that you want, the things that um, give you motivation. In the end, the Prince, the prince of Wands is in reverse. Um, you could be dealing with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or messages are kind of odd. They're strange and, you know, off-putting. Let's see what that means. Um, but I do know that something is coming in that you will like and desire. But right now you're feeling like things just aren't moving for you, you know. And you feel like maybe people have done you wrong. Because remember we saw that Seven of Swords in reverse. It's the income and energy. But I needed um, two cards for the Two of Pentacles. The Change card is in reverse. It's resisting change or change happen and kind of left your finances a mess for some of you. But I need two cards for that for Libra. You lost hope in the situation. There's the Empress in reverse again. That's why I like these cards because they, they um, clarify each other. This is a smaller deck of this one, okay? Um, there's no growth. You're feeling hopeless because there's no growth in an environment that you're wanting. And that's in the past position. It's also the obstacle of the Empress is growth. So let me get two cards. Something you're supposed to work towards is growth, okay? So I need... You know, like I said, two cards for Libra, the obstacle position, the Empress in reverse. You feel like your ships aren't ever going to come in. Queen of Cups, you also may be dealing with an older type water sign. I don't see this person as a negative person, but maybe you feel like they're not going to come in. Or um, uh, emotional contentment, that could be the Queen of Cups too. You're wanting that and you're afraid it's not going to come in. You know, like I said, growth. But some of you are 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 um, dealing with or associating with a Queen of Cups energy who's a little bit older, maybe 35 to 45, 50, sometimes a little bit older, but they're, they're mature. But they're in the upright. I feel that like they're in the upright, but maybe you're trying to also regain, like I said, your emotions when it comes to what's going on around you. Now, the current environment, Eight of Pentacles, there's no really hard work out there for a lot of people, so I'm going to guess on that, but I need two more cards because it can be being overworked also. So the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, two cards please for Libra. You're willing to work, you're willing to work, you're willing to uh, um, regain stability, but something's all messed with it when it comes to your finances and work. I'm not going to lie to you because you got the Knight of Swords there. It could be your energy. It could be any type of energy, though, that is 
where they feel like things aren't taken off the way they're expecting and they're wanting more stability. Some of you will be dealing with earth. Some will be dealing with the water. Maybe you're dealing with another air sign too. But you got something coming towards you, something what some people call it kind of sexy. I call it motivation, things you desire. And this is coming towards you. So I need two cards, please, for Libra, the lust card. I need two cards. And I'll give you a mini uh, love reading at the end, so... Yeah, you got something that's coming towards you, okay? You got something that's coming towards you, something that you will think is very desirable, but you don't trust it with a full card in reverse. You're gonna like take baby steps towards it. You're gonna be very careful. And that's you, the prince, the princess of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It's like, well, I know this is coming towards me, dude, but is it the real deal? Is it the real thing? And communications are a little off, okay? I feel like it's only up and up because the, um, the lust card is in the upright, but you have so much BS behind you right here. And you know, with the seven of swords energy and the changes and the growth, and you're feeling a little hopeless that you may not trust what is going to be offered to you or coming towards you, I should say. So now messages are a little disruptive. So the thing with this is that you keep you ask more questions to clarify things because the page, the prince page, prince of wands is in reverse where messages are a little weird. So the prince of wands, why are you there? Why are you in reverse at the end there? For Libra. Contracts, it's a little confusing, okay? The, the contracts and the, the things that are being asked of you, which are pretty solid with the Hierophant and the Knight of Wands, very passionate energy. It's just that there may be a miscommunication. This could be have to do because we're going through Mercury in retrograde. We've got Mars retrograde. So the thing is to do is to make sure, yeah, things are a little chaotic still with the chariot. It's, it's to take control of the reins and communicate clearly and make sure that you get the messages and make sure that... Um, you're not so untrusty with something coming towards you that you may desire. Um, ask questions if you're a little afraid, okay, of what is being offered. And you will see that it is solid and a very passionate type energy you will desire, okay? You may, I'm, I'm not kidding that things were a little chaotic here, but when focus on what's coming towards you, this, this lust type thing, this, the, the desires you want. Focus on them and let this go for now. And um, I know you're going to have trust issues. You are going to be afraid to take that leap of faith. But I think if you, like I said, if you communicate, you'll you'll find out it's something you'll want. Okay. Let me do the love reading. Three card, pick a card. Love reading for Libra, Sun, and Rising for the end of October. Bonus reading. The energy start then. They don't end then. Okay. So I need three cards for Libra. For moon, for um, yeah, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. End of October. Almost said August. Why do I keep on thinking August with Libra? Hmm. So like I said, you pick an energy, pick a card, but at the end I do try to bring them all together. Try. Sometimes it works really well, and other times it's kind of, mm, but I still do it because a lot of times they do relate. I need three cards from the Moonology cards for Libra Summon and Rising, the end of October 2020. And I thought about August again. Just letting you know. Any of you dealing with a love situation from August? But I need three cards for Libra, Summon, and Rising for the end of October 2020. Three cards from the 8th House Tarot, the House of Sexuality, because we want to know about love and, you know, the spicier things of life for Libra, Summon, and Rising. New energies, positive energies, hopefully, when concerning love. For the pick a card love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Bonus reading for October, the end of October. So I'm saying the last week of October, about it starts. But you do got something pretty, like, I don't know, like something you really like coming towards you. But like I said, you may not trust it. Let me see what this says. First one, you got success coming in, okay, when it comes to love. So it says to work through your fears. I thought there was a lot of fear there, okay? Work through your fears and love, and you will have happy celebrations at home with family, friends, and loved ones. Sometimes even leads to marriage, these things. It's like a, 
um, a wedding celebration sometimes. So yeah, success is on hand, at hand, but you got to come over those fears. Go towards success and put the fears away. If you have to meditate to get rid of the fears, I know it's easier said than done. If you pick this section, if you ask the question, yes or no, in anything, ask it now, okay? Ask the question now. If you pick this thing, your the answer will be a no in a situation. But you do have a new romantic cycle beginning. You do. And uh, two of air. You are going to be putting up boundaries. You may be testing the person that is coming in a little bit because of, you know, situations that you've already been through. I'm getting, like I said, you're supposed to ask the question, yes or no. There's a no there, and that could be anything, okay? But you are, um, a new uh, romantic cycle does begin, but you're, you may block it, you know, you, or you may, like, um, you know, put up so many boundaries that it's hard for people to come in, okay? So how you deal with that is you take off the blindfold and you trust in what is coming in a little bit more, okay? And it could work. So you may actually block somebody that is coming in of a new love cycle. If you pick this section, there's a compromise to be had when a love cycle. Surrender to the divine. Trust in your angels to guide you where you need to go in your love life and the decisions that you make. And you got the Wheel of Fortune. It will be prosperous for you. It'll turn in your favor. It's a good card. Bringing these together. I said I tried to do that. You're having success. Even though you've got a lot of fears. Okay, push through them. And you'll be happy. Happy home celebrations and everything else. Got a no answer on something. But it could be because you're putting a blindfold and putting up boundaries on people. And I feel that big time. But if you let those boundaries down, you could uh, start a new romantic cycle. Okay. The thing is to compromise, overcome those fears, and realize not everybody that's coming in or maybe someone comes back, you know, old friends want to be more than friends. Um, it could be any of those things. Compromise, okay? Because you are working through them fears, you know? You're afraid. You're putting up swords. Surrender to the divine. Trust your angels. Ask them for help if you feel like you're overwhelmed when it comes to a love situation, and they will answer you, okay? They will... Um, be there for you okay and we're having a full moon soon so that interesting we're having two full moons this month I gotta think I don't remember the days I know we just had we're having one we just had one and then we're gonna have another one right the two ones but you're having a wheel of fortune situation things will be turning in your favor I know we're in December everybody's having a solar eclipse that's supposed to change our lives in some way I'm not saying it's gonna be 100% perfect but it's definitely gonna be better than it was Okay, so this is your reading. I will let this go. I will upload it soon. And I will talk to you guys later. I just want you to know that whatever is coming towards you, even though you may not trust things right now, even though you feel like things are against you, I think it's going to be better for you. Um, but I know you were lacking in a lot of things. You thought things were hopeless. There was no growth. But realize whatever is coming towards you, even though a little... You know, the messages may be off or you don't trust them, whatever it is. I do feel like it's going to be a good thing for you. I really think it's going to be a good thing. I think um, you just got to push away the fears. You got to take off um, the boundary. You got to put the boundaries down a little for the right people. I'm not saying for the wrong people. I'm saying for the right people. I know you've been through a lot, but you're also... Um, with that Seven of Swords I saw earlier, I need to mention this, that you may be fearing that someone's going to mess you over. That could be it, too, because it was in reverse. You're fearing that someone's just going to, you know, really mess you up, you know, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to love, when it comes to anything like that, work, um, money, you know. Well, anyway, I'm going to let this go. I'm rambling. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.